In this question, they're asking about 3D walls in AutoCAD architecture. They want to apply a blue color to one side of the wall and a red color to the other side. Now the easiest way to do this is to create a multi-component wall and assign different materials to each component of the wall. Let's go ahead and jump over to the application and show you how this might work. Now I've placed a generic or standard wall in AutoCAD architecture. I'm looking at it in the 3D view and I'm going to turn on my realistic display. Realistic display shows the material, so actually images for how this is going to render. I'll switch now to the shaded view which shows me color that's been applied to the walls to display in a 3D view. Next, we need to take a look at how the wall is put together so that you understand how the color and the material can be changed. I'll select this wall and go into Edit Wall Style. I can right click or pick it from the ribbon. From here, under the Materials tab, you can see that this particular wall has a single component that has a material of standard assigned to it. I know this is a single component wall because when I go back to the Component tab, you can see that single component. We need to create a dual or two component wall. So I'm going to make a copy of this generic one. We'll give it a new name. We'll just call it two component wall to be uh, simplistic in our example. And then I'll come over to the components tab. This is where we build out wall types. This is where we create the brick and the insulation and the structural members that make up the wall. You can have as many components as you need or as few as you want. It's really up to you. Each component has a width and an edge offset, so the walls are built from a center point or from an edge based on that edge offset. You assign a name and a priority. You can set the function of the wall, whether it is structural or non-structural. You can set your top and bottom heights. So you have a lot of control about how these different components function. Again, for example or for simplicity's sake, we're going to create an outside component and an inside component. And we'll go ahead and set these to non-structural. Our width is two inches for each component, and we can see that in the view. And then priority, there are priorities assigned to the default wall types that you can follow, follow, and that determines how they clean up with other walls, or your office might have its own standard about priorities and how they're assigned. Now for this wall type, now that I have the two components, I can switch over to the materials tab, and I see both components, inside and outside, with a material assigned. If I hit edit for the standard material, this is the default that comes with the wall. I'm going to go ahead and create a new material, and again we'll call this material inside versus outside, and then I'll go ahead and modify that material. Now we have different display sets. This, this is all dependent upon uh, how your display is being used in the project. The bold one is the one that's in use. Now there's different components of the wall that you can display. Uh, change the display of, but we're interested in the 3D body because we want the color of it in 3D to be different. So I'll change that 3D body to red. You could also, from this component, add a render material. Now there's a library of render materials that come with the application that you can drag and drop in and assign. Now I'm going to go up to the outside component and add a new one as well, and we'll call this outside blue. And then if I go in and modify that, same thing, the one you see in bold is the one that's in use. I'll hit edit. You'll notice when I go into the settings, they're exact same right now as what the inside was. So when I change this to blue and go back to the inside one, you'll see that it's blue. This can be very frustrating if you don't know what's going on. The problem is that you have to create a wall style override. So rather than changing the material definition for default for all uh, materials that are applied, you want to change it for just this wall style. So that's kind of an important uh, checkbox you want to make sure you edit there. So I create the override for inside, create the override for the outside material, change one to red, one to blue, and when I press OK out of these dialog boxes, you will quickly see that one side or one component of the wall is red and the other component of the wall is blue, just as I would expect it to be. So that's kind of quick and dirty on how you uh, take a wall inside AutoCAD architecture and make one side blue and one side red or apply different materials. The best way or easiest way is to use multiple components in the wall. Thank you so much for watching.